Let's talk. We're finally seeing some movement for a U.S. Senate debate. Mm -hmm. uh, the Terry Lynn Landscamp is saying, you know, I think that we could agree to something. Nolan, what do you know on that? Well, I think they are going to debate. Uh, I think they're going to do it on Channel 7. Uh, we tried to get them here and, and, and didn't get it, but uh, still, they're going to debate. And takes that issue off the table for her. It was starting to be, oh, you're running and hiding. You're the stealth candidate. I think it's part of a campaign strategy. They've allowed the expectations of Terry Lynn Land's debate performance to drop so low that if she wants walks out there and doesn't faint, she wins. Wait, and so wait, wait, so wait, so that was the that was the plan all I along, think you was, think? I think over the last you know, the people say, well she does she's not gonna debate. She doesn't want to debate. And yet for the last several months she's been doing debate prep. And she's been working with, with sitting down with experts on the issues to get prepared. They knew they were going to debate, but the expectations are now so low that she doesn't need such a grand performance to score uh, to score points here. Yeah, well, she's going to, well, I mean, here, the, the, I think that is, the, that is probably part of the strategy here. I think the problem is you've got a candidate who is very weak on, on substance. I mean, she's not going to be able to hold her own uh, on, on a lot of issues with someone like Gary Peters, who's spent a lot more time. And no matter which of them you agree with, uh, Gary's base of knowledge and experience is so much broader uh, than Terry Lynn Lands that I think is going to be really difficult for her to, to, to come across even as uh, an able competitor I think to be, him in that I think format. you'll be surprised. Um, I think she's been spending a lot of time on the prep. His risk is not coming across as arrogant, overbearing, a bully. Uh, he, absolutely. Uh, and he has he's that gotta be. Well, what does she have to do now? You say she's already been I doing a lot of prep. she has to, you know, she, the, the low bar has been set for her. And, and so she's just got to clear. So she's she's got a low bar to clear, but she does have to 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 come off as informed and and competent on the on the stage. She's got to give voters some confidence that she can do this job. Do you think a debate with these two could make or break? either candidate. I, I don't think debates, don't think do, debates that do that anymore. Why but, not? Well, because I mean, I think voters are, are first of all, bombarded with so much other uh, information. I mean, you can't turn it. It's, it's, the, it's middle of September. You cannot turn the TV on at this yeah. point and not see campaign ads between uh, every, every program. So, I mean, uh, you think about that, you know, growing from now till the, through October. Uh, voters just have so much more information uh, at the ready at this point, good or bad. You know, a lot of it's just junk, uh, white noise. But you know, it, a debate but it, can break you. I well, think. if you do, if you get up really there, really poorly. Say, Whoa. Well, um, and, and I think it also could give a bounce or a little bit of momentum, and especially can. if it's it this one debate, and there's been made so much about the fact yeah. that how could she perform, and if she does extremely but well, this is going to be a could limited, close the gap a little bit. This, do you think this is going to be a limited view debate? Not everybody in the state's going to have access to it or or see it. She could. I, I mean, they, they you could close the gap. I'm not sure what the gap is at this point. The polls <clears> yeah. are all over They're the place. They're kind of it's a tight like race. A six, it's a seven. tight race, so it's important. I, I think, um, you know, it's important. It's it, important it, for each candidate well. to meet their expectations right. in the debate. Right. Uh, she can't. She can't get out there and have this, can't do what she did on this freaky Absolutely. stage fright thing no. that she's that she's experienced a couple of times. That can't happen. Uh, but but she does have to. She's got to show that she understands a, the issues. A breadth of knowledge. You know, the Senate is not the Senate is not the House, uh, and it's not a, a state office. I mean, it's it is the place where really serious policy debates take place. I don't know mm -hmm. that she's proven that she's really uh, in the company of those of those folks. Either proven that. Well, I think Gary. I, I mean, it's right. also a place Gary's, where you expect independence, and this guy's not shown independence I, a single day since he's true been So all. all right, now so hang on. So mm -hmm. what is the what are the key issues you think that it's going to make this race? The Senate race? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, again, I think experience uh, is going to matter a lot for, for Gary Peters. You know, he's uh, he's been in, what, three consecutive very tough uh, races, and they all looked like, uh, you know, around September, early October that he would lose. He turns it around. He gets it together. He didn't lose all of them. He didn't win all of them. I mean, he well, lost two statewide races. He lost the state races, but but since he's been in uh, in Congress, he's faced uh, incredible races. He's uh, won district each time. races. He's he's tried a couple of times at statewide races and, not and got lost it. them. And, yeah. and those were co were close races. I think he's also got likability issues. Even people in his own party yeah. are not all that wild about Gary Peters. He's got to address that issue, particularly if she can overcome the competence yeah. concerns. Yeah. She's right. not a warm fuzzy either, but the, 
you know. Okay, so we're talking <laughs> West we're, Michigan. We're talking a little bit about we're talking a little bit about personality traits here. I wanted to in the last forty seconds that we have left, issue wise. That they're going to have to address in the in, in the Senate, Senate race. I mean, mm -hmm. I think uh, you know, healthcare still keeps coming up, and and Gary Pugh has got to, you know, take control of that and and make it clear why he did what he did and why it's working or why he thinks it's working. Uh, I think for Terry Lynn Land, it's proving that she has command of the issues, the the, the many issues, especially foreign policy, uh, that come up in the Senate. And Barack Last Obama had an issue in this race, as it is in every race across the country. Sure. The president's popularity is dropping. Uh, Peters has done nothing to distance himself uh, from the administration, from the White House. Uh, that may be a risky play for him. He's tied himself to Obamacare and he's tied himself to the president. He voted that might against not play some of the things that uh, not play well he's got some votes that he can that he can bank on that showed he was willing to do different things, go a different he way. He has stood with the president, and I think that's going to be an issue in the campaign.